Just make sure you ding me. crazy till the next one comes up. So the point I'm trying to make is we're not going to, we know that you could have watched this from the absolute luxury of your house, been eating bonbons and gluten and all that jazz, but you decided to come here with us, pay $10 for something you could have gotten for free, and we know that you are unbelievable people. So we are committed that you have more fun today than you've ever had in your life. And so this morning, I was fantasizing about my wife dying. And so, as a result of that, <laughs> I swear, this is the truth, because she came in and she says, I think I, yesterday she says, I think I have shoes. I go, okay, I have shoes, that's horrible. So this morning, and then early, stop looking so sad, she's a hypochondriac. So here's the <laughs> So then she said she had the flu. So then she said she just had a cold. And then it went back to the flu. And I'm laying there and about the listeners of this mal of this list of maladies. And I'm like, God, what's my next wife gonna be like? You know, I don't want her to die. I just want the Martians to take her. So that was about two So then uh, so then I, I doze back off, or whenever, I guess I was in the bathtub to try to make this story congruent. So then, I'm a company. You know, because of longevity, it's just such a pain in the ass sometimes. And you just, so something's going wrong, you can't sign up a preferred customer. Your auto ship comes and it didn't have the little thing in it that gets you the saddle and you're ready to quit. So then I started fantasizing about joining another company. And I'm going, oh my God, how am I going to do that? So then I thought about joining another company and I thought, well, what would I do? I would have to go to their website. So in my mind, I went to their website and it's just like Chinese because it's nothing like my wife, the familiarity of my wife or the familiarity of longevity. And it's all foreign, just exactly like dating would be or just exactly like joining another company would be. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to have to lose a couple of hundred pounds and I'm going to have to put hair gel on. On this side, over here, I'm going to have to learn a whole new website and all that jazz. And I stopped. And I thought, I'm going to need some help. I've got to find somebody. i got to find Match.com. I've got to find eHarmony. I've got to find somebody that's going to take me through the deal. But you know what? All that it boils down to is that we need people and help. You know, and your new people, 
aren't as smart as you are. So they don't know. They aren't, they're like showing they're brand new. He's trying to figure out how to get this thing started, and he's just like me on eHarmony or Match.com trying to figure out a beautiful senior citizen that's going to think I'm actually and cool or the people at the new company. Does that make sense to you? We need help. So I want you to take this training today and realize everybody isn't as hip slick and cool and smart as you are, and just think about that brand new person who said who saw you at church, Joel, or Nikki, and said, man, I'm, I think I could do that. I'm going to go look at their website and see what's going on. So they go to the website, and they go, I still can't figure out what's going on. So then all of a sudden, they start trying to figure out the comp plan. And they're going, well, how in the world could you possibly make money? I don't understand any of this. And then you're going to understand where they are and what your job is. You've got to walk them through it. You've got to re-educate them. You've got to bring them in. And that's why this is so invaluable, because this baby is working while you're sleeping. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Did that whole story make any sense? It did in my dreams. It was such an unbelievable two dreams. So then I realized I had those two dreams, and I'm thinking, God, i got to merge them in and tell a story. So then I talked to Scott. I went back to the back, and I thought Scott was going to yell at me. And I said, Scott, I want to open this thing up with a story about Denise Donna. And he was really excited about that. <laughs> but, you know, that was how that whole thing, you know, just goes through your head all the time. But just imagine what goes through the head of those new people. Think about that. And they're relying on you. They can't rely on that website. They're relying on you. They can't rely on that product. You've been in two weeks. There's, how long? A week, how the product's working. They're working like a charm. You're all healed. Of course they're not working yet. <laughs> That's exactly right. So all you have to rely on is Clayton and on Scott, right? That's what's so beautiful. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Is that cool enough? I'm done. How was that? You know, I can imitate everything he does except the hair. Oh, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the very first time that uh, I had the opportunity to speak in front of a group at Longevity, like the big stage. And he's like, are you nervous? And I'm like, no. He says, well, let's just make sure you're not. And when we got up on stage, he kissed me right on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm right there. And I was like, well, that is a great icebreaker. <laughs> So Tom always has a way of just breaking the ice and putting everybody at ease. Have you ever noticed that about Tom? Yes. And yes. one thing you got to know, no matter what you think of how aloof he appears to be, don't be fooled. Mm -hmm. Tom truly is one of the smartest guys I've ever known in my entire life, and that's the story. Would you agree, Nolan? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I would agree. Yeah. I would even... Socially, he is all there. He might not be there in some other area. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding with Tom, but he, he is all there. He knows exactly what's going on at all times, how people are feeling, and, and, and why they're reacting a certain way. I have learned so much from this man. Here's what I want you to do. Today, I want you to think about the fact that you're in the presence of, of, of greatness. I mean, he is truly a legend in network marketing. And we don't know, and it's not because of his age. We don't know how long we're going to have anybody around. Gee, <laughs> right? <laughs> when, when he talks about, you know, that morbid story, I'm not even going to say it, but that morbid story, we, we, the reality is, is we don't know how long anybody's going to be around, and so you want to take advantage of the time that you have right now. When you can, rub shoulders. When you can, ask questions. When you can, pick the brain. When you can, just hang out and take it all in because it's, it's some of those valuable experiences you can ever have in your entire life is to be in the presence of greatness. And he is truly great. Agree? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So this morning, we got some exciting things going. But today is what we call virtual video training. And so different people throughout Longevity that have expertise or experience in different areas, something they're really passionate about. Um, I, I would presume I haven't looked through the entire cast, but these are people that are four-star executive, five-star executive, and above and beyond, and they have taken time to be professionally recorded. That's where Longevity calls you on the phone and says, hey, we need a favor. This is going to go out to everybody all over the world at the exact same time. Can you put some thought into a particular topic? And it's always an honor when Longevity asks you to do that, and they called up uh, me, and they called up Tom, and they asked us to uh, help with this, and we just had a blast. So I think you're going to get a lot out of today. Here's what we want you to do. As Tom said, we want you 
to be totally comfortable today, relax, take everything in and realize that it's your chance to, to take notes. It's your chance to think about particular questions that you have. We're inviting you. We're going to debrief each segment. And that it may or may not be something that we spend a lot of time talking about, but if you've got questions or thoughts or feelings or emotions or experiences that are popping up because of different questions or even things that have existed for you previous to coming in here today that have nothing to do with the video training, we want you to ask it. Today's your chance. If you walk out of here today with a thought, a feeling, an emotion, an expression, a question, and you haven't taken the chance to drill down on or ask about it, that's on you because we're saying feed us give it to us and we're probably going to add some things in between that have nothing to do with this of our own and we've got our whiteboard over here so we can break anything down that you want to today our goal is to make sure that you have confidence that you are passionate that your attitude and your belief levels turn into habits that can go right out of here and get the results that you've always wanted to have with no more excuses for you does that make sense yes, yes. yes. this is super saturday training and it's your training today. So make it what you want. We didn't come here to entertain you. We didn't come here with just a one-sided agenda. You're gonna help create the agenda today, and we're asking you and inviting you. We need your help to make today the most special day that it can possibly be. So on that note, uh, James, are we ready to uh, tee this up? We're ready to tee this up. Okay, so I think that's paired. And I believe if you just uh, wanna click that and then pause, how do you pause it? And then you can open that little box right there. And it should expand the whole thing. There we go. So here's the first speaker today. We're going to kick this off. If you've never heard this gentleman before, if you've never seen this gentleman before, you get to hear his voice. You get to get familiar with a little bit about his passion and his personality. He's inviting you and welcoming you to Super Saturday. This is our CEO, Steve Wallach. And he is the most powerful man in all of longevity. So we have trust in him, we have confidence in him, we have belief in Steve Wallet. None of us would be here if ultimately we didn't trust who was at the helm of the ship. Does that make sense? Yes. You have to know that on the bridge, the most experienced, capable, qualified captain is making sure that we are not one degree off. And that's why Steve Wallet is so valuable as the CEO of this company, because let's face it, it doesn't matter what the niche is, in the corporate world or in the network marketing world, business is business and people are people and those things are never gonna change. We've been here for now 20 years. There's not a lot of companies in this world that have successfully navigated water smooth as well as turbulent for 20 years and we've done it and we're doing it well and we're doing it very, very successfully thanks to Steve Wallet. So listen to what he has to say to open this up. We'll debrief this when he's done, and then we'll keep going right down the list through the next speaker. So, enjoy. Super excited to be with you here today to talk to you about a topic called accountability. Some of the principles that I use for a successful home meeting. How you can help impact the expansion of your business. We're going to talk about the business building fundamentals. Personal development, building a professional network marketing business. And I agree that you use every hydration bottle.
Yeah, it's just giving me this. information with all of you of really how they build their business of what they've learned along the way and you know speaking of top field leaders and amazing speakers all of this is leading to our 20th anniversary celebration which you don't want to miss you don't want your team to miss you don't want your family or friends to miss this only happens once in our entire lifetimes the 20th anniversary of longevity you can't miss that convention and speaking of conventions if you haven't registered, and I'm sure all of you have, but if you know somebody who hasn't, go to longevityconvention.com, make sure to register yourself, but make sure they get registered too. This is a party you don't want to miss. August, Dallas, Texas, you got to be there. complete permission to be completely straight with me as to how you felt about everything. Is that okay all day? Yeah. Okay, so let's let her go. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Right, we're we have some technical issues here at the moment. and I am really excited to share this particular segment with you. It has to do with the magic of the invitation. So I want you to think back to a time period in your life when you were jaw dropped, awe-inspired from anything that you saw that was magical. You know, that complete bewilderment that came over to you when you said, whoa, how did they do that? No way. How did they possibly pull that off? Well, the invite is so powerful. Whether it was sports you played in, or the band concert you had, or a wedding you attended, or your wedding alone, or anything that involved an invitation, going dancing, hanging out with friends, going to the movies, going bowling, uh, eating at your favorite restaurant, all of those things require company because, let's face it, doing anything by yourself is absolute boredom, at least in my opinion. So somebody's got to put out an invitation. 
But we, when we think about how there's magic in the invitation, I want to relate that to your longevity business right now. So here's the thing. It's easy to get excited about longevity. I mean, after all, for goodness sakes, it makes all the sense in the world. Really? I mean, swap where you shop, show everybody else why they should do the same thing, and a commission structure attached to all that with personal growth and development and the ability to have people spend money in longevity on products they were already going to spend their money on anyways somewhere else? I mean, come on, guys. Could it really get more simple than that? Well, I don't know that it could get any more simple. However, we can certainly take something simple and mess it up by overcomplicating it. You know what I mean? The rubber hits the road when it comes to the fact that we all know people that would probably be more than excited to be part of longevity, but for some reason we complicate this topic called the invitation. So let's talk about that for a second. Let's just say that you've got your prospect list out and you're sitting here going, oh my goodness, I would love to have this particular person or this group of people inside of the business. Oh my goodness, this would be a game changer. And you get excited about it. And then the inevitable oftentimes happens. We absolutely freeze. We come unglued. We get out of sorts thinking about, wow, what are we going to say? What script should I read? Is, are, is there a script around here? I mean, certainly my upline has a script. Did you have a script when you invited somebody to go to the movies? Did you have a script when you asked that special person out on a date? I doubt it. My hunch is that you came from your heart, and somewhere along the line, you learned to get out of your head. So what does that look like in the real world here? Here's your, here's your list and no script. Put this on for size. You're in a conversation. You're at the next social gathering that you're attending, whether it's hanging out at a neighborhood block party or at church this coming weekend, whatever it is, people are going to say, how's life going? What are you up to? And what are you doing now? And oftentimes, this is when we think we need to have that script and we start to get super wordy. I want to encourage you, say less. And I like to answer that question with a question. So when somebody says, hey, Scott, how's it going? What are you up to now? What are you doing? I simply answer the question with a question. And I say, hey, you're familiar with network marketing, aren't you? And then I look at him in the eyes. I have a little smile on my face. And I have body, posture, and confidence. So there's no question that I feel great about what I'm doing. I'm not, behind, I'm not hiding behind network marketing. I'm not cowering away from the fact that I'm a network marketer. I put it right out there in the form of a question. Now, why do I do that? The reason I do that is because I want to find out what's on their mind. Do I have work with this person or is this a little simpler process? Well, let's look at three possibilities from a response that people could give you when you ask the question, you're familiar with network marketing, aren't you? And here's the first possible response. Somebody will either say, no, I'm not, or yeah, I, I think I have an idea what that is. Either way, um, if somebody says, I think I have an idea what that is, they don't have a clue. They're just wanting to sound smart, but they don't have a clue. And if they tell you they don't, at least they're being honest and they're getting right to the point. Well, isn't it nice to know right up front that the person you're talking to has absolutely no concept or experience with network marketing, I find that to be extremely valuable. Let's look at answer number two. Answer number two is they say, yes, I am familiar with network marketing, Scott. You know what? I've had a really bad experience from that. And here's my answer to them. I say, great. Tell me about that experience. Now, notice that I'm completely positive. My posture doesn't change. My attitude doesn't change. Where I'm at, I'm so grounded. I stay focused and I stay encouraging and positive. And I'm even affirming their response. So now I'm going to get a story. And they're going to tell me what went wrong or what happened in their world or what company they were a part of. And I just smile and I say, that's really interesting. Tell me more. I want them to put it all out on the table and air their dirty laundry with me. Don't you think that would be helpful? If you had that information right up front before you even begin down a path with them to tell them anything more, I'll encourage you, that's invaluable information to have. Let's look at answer number three. Here's the third possibility. They say, Scott, yes, I do understand network marketing. I have some experience and I've either been in the industry or I'm currently in a company and it's been great. My response, you won't believe it, it's the same as the last one. That's fantastic. That's great. Tell me about it. And it's the same body language as the previous person. Nothing changes, just conviction and enthusiasm. And I'm inviting with them to pour themselves out to me. 
the more information you gather on the front side and the more encouraging you are to them, regardless of where they're coming from, the more inviting you will be and the more attractive you will be and something will shift. Tell you a quick story. Last week, I sat face to face. Somebody introduced me to another network marketer in the industry. I didn't know they were a network marketer, but the connection was made. And when we sat there, they said, what do you do? And I said, you're familiar with network marketing, aren't you? And he says, yeah, I am. As a matter of fact, I'm in another company. And that company is very respectable. They've been around for a while. And I said, on a scale of one to 10, how convicted or satisfied are you with where you are in your company currently? And he said, 10. And I said, hey, that's great. Tell me all about it. I didn't go, oh, he's a 10. There's no way that he would ever be interested in what I'm doing. I just said, that's great. Tell me about it. And when I listened, he knew that I had a keen ear. And I said, that's fantastic. I'm glad you're having that experience. I'm glad things are going that way. And he said, how about you? How convicted are you? And I said, same as you. I'm a 10. And what was really interesting out of that conversation is ultimately, as we got to explore and know each other better, he started asking me more questions, which led to him coming closer to my side of the table than me getting closer to his side of the table. So every now and then, you'll take people that feel like they're convicted and they'll realize they're missing out on something. That's a deeper topic for another time yet to be explored. Here's what I want you to think about more than anything. I want you to think about those two things I mentioned. Anytime, whether they know you or they don't, if they know you, they're gonna ask you, hey, what are you up to now? Bring me current. If they don't know you, they're gonna word it a little bit differently. However, it's the same question. They're gonna say, what do you do? In either case, you look them in the eyes, slight little smile, absolute confidence, have a little energy in your voice, meaning don't get mousy, and just say, you're familiar with network marketing, aren't you? and then just smile and wait for the response. You'll get those three uh, possibilities, and then what will happen after that is no matter what they say, you say, that's great, tell me about it. And if you can memorize those two things and use those skills and put them to use, you will find yourself setting appointment after appointment after appointment. And the three things I want you to think about when you're making invitations and you're in these conversations, be a person that knows how to have fun. Don't be all stiff and formal that you don't know how to laugh and you don't know how to smile and you're so thinking about what you're gonna say next that you lose the fun factor. Be fun, laugh with them, find things to talk about, be silly, giggle. The next thing is have some confidence. Use energy in your voice, don't get mousy, stand tall, look them in the eyes, have a slight smile, don't take your gaze away from them when you're talking to them, be in the moment. And then third, be prepared to add value. Now remember, value is the key to everything. It always comes down to people will make decisions based on value and emotion, not on anything else like facts and figures, okay? So value and emotion is it. And at the end of this conversation, no matter who you're talking to, here's the ultimate question that you're gonna ask. And here's how it goes. Based on everything you just shared with me, I'm just curious, if you don't mind me asking, is where you're at currently a stepping stone for greater things to come? Or do you feel like you're absolutely rooted and completely grounded and that this is possibly as good as it gets for you? And then just stare at them and wait for them to respond. And there's two possibilities because you gave them two. One is, you know what? I feel really good about where things are at right now for me. Thanks for asking though. And I say, that's great. I am so glad I got a chance to meet you. And the other answer is, you know what? I am looking at this as a stepping stone, and I am open and looking for greater things yet to come. What do you have in mind? And then that's not when you say, longevity this, compensation plan that, oh my goodness, these products are amazing. Are those things true? Absolutely. It's not what they need to hear. What they need to hear and what will move mountains, and mountains metaphorically meaning people, what will move those people into taking action is when you talk about how you have a relationship or a connection with powerful people that can make a difference in their life. And when you edify those other people or that particular person, and you share some things that they've done in your life to bring greater fulfillment into your life, they're gonna want that too. And guess what? They're gonna want more than anything to meet that person that you've elevated or built up. That's what I do. That's how Juliet and I have built a very, very successful business inside of Longevity is by 
putting magic into our invitation and being uh, magical when it comes to connecting people. That's the magic secret sauce that we've leveraged and utilized for many, many years. I know it's worked for us. I know it will work for you. I hope you found those tips extremely helpful. And once you put those into practice on a daily basis and get really good at them, everything will become very second nature and very natural for you. And in closing, here's what I'd like to share. I'd like for you to open up your calendars and think about that August date that's coming up, not too far down the road. Before you know it, the blink of an eye, we're going to be having our Dallas venue, 20-year celebration of our existence and unbelievable growth with so much fun along the way. This is going to be a party. It's going to be an educational opportunity. And all the leaders and all the people that make a difference all the time with Longevity are going to be there. I want you to be there. I want you to want to be there. I hope that you'll make the decision to make that a priority as you look at building your business to the most successful place that you can see yourself arriving. We're gonna help you get there, but in that help, you've gotta learn how to take some advice. And my greatest advice for you is to make that a priority and put the word out there that you're taking it seriously and that you expect everyone on your team to be there too. Thanks for tuning in, guys. It's been great to visit with you. Have a great day.